Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. On June 7th at Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia, NASA and Orbital ATK hosted members of the media to see the Cygnus cargo spacecraft scheduled to fly the company's next delivery mission to the International Space Station. The mission, the company's fifth to the space station under its commercial resupply services contract with NASA, is planned for launch in July. Cygnus will launch a top orbital ATK's and Terry's rocket from the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport's Pad 0A at Wallops. It will be the first time Antares and Pad 0A have been used for a launch since a launch mishap in 2014. On board the space station, NASA astronaut Jeff Williams opened the hatch to the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module for the first time on June 6th. He and Russian cosmonaut Oleg Skripochka then entered the module to collect an air sample and set up some equipment. They eventually exited and resealed the hatch. Beam will remain attached to the station for a two-year data collection period, with crew members occasionally reopening the hatch to check the module's condition. The Beam is a technology demonstration to study expandable habitats in space. On July 4th, NASA's Juno mission will become the first spacecraft to enter into polar orbit around Jupiter. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California held a media day on June 9th featuring details about the mission and various hardware models including a giant solar panel as big as a tractor trailer and a titanium vault used to protect Juno's instruments from sizzling radiation on its journey to our solar system's most massive planet. NASA's new Coral Reef Airborne Laboratory field campaign kicked off its data gathering phase with an operational readiness test on Oahu, Hawaii. During the next year, Coral will conduct airborne and in-water surveys of representative coral reefs from Hawaii to Australia. These data will help them answer fundamental questions about how reefs are changing globally due to the effects of climate change and human activities. Coral is one of the new NASA Earth Expedition's major field research missions to study regions of critical change around the world by collecting data from space, land, sea, and air. More than 20,000 people came out to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory June 4th and 5th for a ticket to explore JPL. This year's open house type event included life-size models of several robotic Mars rovers operated by JPL, an area showcasing various other robots researchers are working on, and exhibits highlighting other work JPL is doing to help NASA revolutionize space exploration. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov. twan